Number 15. School Dance Ghost This one is fairly subtle. You may be distracted by the offbeat choreographed dance by this school group, but if you pay attention to what's going on in the background, you'll be sure to see something that will give you chills. As the girls dance, watch the back wall. Something suddenly streaks past, a shadow of a hunchback perhaps, scuttling across the backdrop and disappearing on the other side. The problem is, there doesn't seem to be a light source or anything to project the shadow onto the wall. For another thing, if there was a light source from the front, the girls' shadows would have been projected on the backdrop as well. The thing, whatever it is, also seems to be gliding in a strange way. Rather than running past to avoid blocking someone's view, the whole incident is very strange and the only thing to do is watch the video over and over again and wonder what in the world the creature could be and if there was evil in the school that night. Number 14. Active Shooting Drill Columbine is no longer a one-off. There have been 287 events like it in America since 2013. Many live in fear of sending their kids off to school. Are they safe there? Not as safe as we want children to be, which is why some school campuses have taken to staging active shooting drills in which school security and police are trained to respond to the hopefully unlikely event that it should happen on their turf. In the drill, the school is filled with smoke, simulating bombs set off by the active shooter, the stress is amped up, fire alarms going off, darkness, flashing lights, in order to prepare emergency services to react appropriately. Kids lie on the ground, their backpacks next to them, apparently the targets of the active shooter. Other kids with simulated injuries are helped off campus as the armed police search for the shooter to subdue him or her. It is sad and scary that schools and police forces have arrived at this point. Such a scenario is all too common. The drill at this school is scary enough to watch, and in reality, it must be infinitely more scary. Number 13. Scary Student Tirade We've all seen someone lose their cool, and when it happens, the meltdown can be frightening. And when a high schooler loses their cool, the cell phones come out. In a Southern California classroom at Eastside High School in Lancaster, someone caught a teacher being completely harangued by one of his students. The student tries to physically intimidate the teacher, yelling directly into the teacher's face in the classroom doorway, inches away from him. The teen says some horrible things. As as the teacher tries to calmly order the student to sit down, the student responds that the teacher sit down, and when the teacher does moments later, the student continues to shout horrible things at him, telling him to shut his mouth and calling him vulgar words. He then pulls something off a faucet in the room and chucks it in the teacher's direction before dumping over a trash can and stomping out of the classroom. While the student appears like he's done this sort of thing a million times before, a watch commander and at least one student said that this behavior was completely out of character and that he's actually a sweet person and an upstanding student. Number 12. Child Ghost According to this video's uploader, this insanely creepy clip was taken on a mobile camera. I was taking video clips of a place and checking my mobile camera clarity, the author wrote. I didn't recognize ghost presence on the spot, but while going through all my mobile clips, I spotted this presence while shooting some shots of this area. In what looks to be a forested region, the videographer insists there was a child ghost staring out the window of the school directly at him. And and of course, the sight was disturbing. The child in the clip has long dark hair, is ghostly pale, and has sunken black holes for eyes, like the girl from The Ring. She is just standing there in the corner of a window, staring. People in the comments are on the fence about whether this video is real or fake. The girl in the window certainly looks real to me, but it seems too good to be true. Number 11. Count Student outbursts are scary, but teacher outbursts can be even scarier. 
This horrifying video of a seriously horrific teacher berating a first grade student for counting wrong is a parent's worst nightmare. The teacher's assistant took the video surreptitiously with her phone camera, which suggests that this teacher may have regularly behaved in this manner. Otherwise, the assistant wouldn't have come prepared to record her insanely irate reaction, which includes her ripping up paper and throwing it, go to the calm down chair and sit. She points a aggressively at the first grader. There's nothing that infuriates me more than when you don't do what's on your paper. She continues to shout at her students as though she's a military commander. The teacher, Charlotte Dial, was part of a group called Success Academy, a charter school in New York. Surprisingly, the surfacing of this video didn't get her fired. It only got her reprimanded. Number 10. Possessed Schoolgirl This video, shot in Malaysia, shows a girl with long dark hair that seems to hang over her face, obscuring her features. She is on a floor of a multi-level school building, and she leaves the room on the right hand of the screen. Walking slowly along the outer walkway, a railing to her left, she touches a couple of the windows and then continues on, walking off screen for a moment. When the camera returns to her, she is still walking slowly, her hair hanging over her face. It seems that she's breaking window panes this time, just smashing her hand into them. The sound echoes in the courtyard, and those across the way holding the camera exclaim. She walks lazily back and strikes a strange languid pose. Looking at her handiwork, she breaks another window, swaying back and forth, then looks out to the left, across the way, and points at something or someone. The uploader claims that this girl is possessed. Don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be in the vicinity of this strange acting student. Number 9. Apparition in the early hours of the morning, on the 1st of August 2008, Asheville High School in North Carolina received an unexpected visitor. A shadow appears to be standing in the hallway. The image was captured at 2.51 a.m. when motion activation was triggered on the surveillance cameras. Then in there, in a block of light to the left corners of the screen, you can see a shadow standing there, after which it moves, as though taking a couple steps. The shape then appears above the elevator, and across the hallway, you can see the dark shadow hover in front of the red doors beyond. Those who watched the video at first thought the shadow was a bat, but after analyzing it, they were unsure of what the figure might be, as it seems to assume the silhouette of a human body. Theories abounded, but one of the teachers at the high school was sure of something. This figure was the ghost of a former student who returned to get back at one of his teachers, which one, we can only guess. Number 8. Creepy Music and Ungodly Creatures in this video, by exploring with Josh, he explores an abandoned school in Japan. Although there are no signs that it's haunted, its creepiness doesn't disappoint. During the beginning of the video, eerie music plays in the abandoned school. According to one member of Josh's crew, the music means that all the school children must go home, only there are no school children left. The school he's exploring is in a forested region in Japan with leafy green hills. The school consists of one building with two floors and another big building separated from it. And what must have been the playground, benches still sit between two trees and an abandoned swing set. As Josh says, the school appears as though it's frozen in time. Everything remains in place. The clock is stopped at 9.55. In the second room of the traditional Japanese school, the floors are caving in a little. The room must have been a laboratory because there are test tubes of pale, creepy creatures inside, worm-like creatures, fish, a centipede, crabs, all sorts of many-legged or no-legged species, and inexplainably, loads of Yamaha pianos against a back wall, and on a chalkboard, a humongous red spider. The abandoned school turned out to be a pretty good haunt to search, and the mysteries of the region live on. Number 7. Pocatello High School the surveillance footage caught on video at Pocatello High School is some of the most haunting ghost footage to date. On December 19th, several students, one with a camera, 
captured footage of a shadowy adult figure near the drinking fountain. The figure heads to the bathroom, comes out, and continues along the hallway. When the footage was released, John and Lisa Bryan, the co-founders of the Scientific Paranormal Investigative Research Organization, arrived at Pocatello High to investigate after someone had reportedly messed with the building's lighting. They saw a translucent figure wandering in the hall, and the pair said that surveillance footage can't be edited due to the camera design and legal regulations. Lisa said they'd watch the footage many times, both regular speed and slowed down. You can just see the lights going on and off, she said. The police were called because of these issues going on in the building. All of that just goes to show that it wasn't something someone just put on there, but instead it was something that really happened. Of course, rumors and myths are pervasive at this haunted school. Everything from drownings in the school swimming pool to mysterious passings of librarians and schoolgirls. While some of these myths may not be true, John and the crew traced at least six passings back in Pokey's history. One of them, in fact, being that a boy did drown in the school's pool, which is why it was removed. The stories keep on piling up, and this video seems to validate them. Number 6. Clown Panic during the creepy clown rise of 2016, clowns were going into town, from forests to Walmarts to schools. In fact, in many places across America, schools were the primary targets. Upstate New York saw their fair share of these clown sightings, with many being reported to police. Nearby at Upstate New York's largest public high school, with 3,100 students, the school district received a bomb threat by a creepy clown in an online forum. While the video of this creepy clown was not taken on school campus, the sighting of him nearby a school fueled major panic. However, until the clown does intentionally scare and harass others, like on the occasion that three clowns stalked a 10-year-old boy on his way to school in Syracuse, there's nothing the police can do about it. Number 5. The Headless Horseman Four kids in Iraq go looking for trouble in an abandoned school, and they find it. The whole thing is on film as the boys explore the derelict building, making their way from stairwell to classroom. Everything pretty empty and creepy enough as it is. Then they enter yet another seemingly empty classroom, where they run into the Headless Horseman of the Apocalypse. The ghost appears out of thin air as they scan the room with their camera. It marches towards them. There is also a chanting sound that seems to be emanating from the ghost itself, but is actually more likely to be coming from the call to prayer at a nearby mosque. Still, it's everything you'd want in a haunting. The scariest thing about it is that the boys don't even seem to notice the ghost. They don't scream, they don't react whatsoever. Some YouTubers believe the so-called ghost is just one of the boys who ran to peek out the window and the backlighting caused this headless effect. But if you rewind the video, the camera scans the area prior to the ghost sighting and there's no one there. Rather, the translucent figure seems to appear straight out of the wall. Number 4. Shadow Ghost in this scary video, the cameraman wanders through an old school. Various rooms show desks, bulletin boards with posts on them, and red bars over the windows. However, no people are inside. The camera then turns to a dirt courtyard amongst the school buildings. A single motorbike stands near the entrance, perhaps that of the videographer. Then, on the back wall of the gated courtyard, you see a strange shadow, perhaps the same ghost that haunted the dance school. The shadow creeps across the back gate and into the brush, melting into the shadows of a nearby tree. What could it be? Is it a ghost? Until something seriously sinister happens, we'll never know. All we can hope is that this school is no longer in use. Number 3. Mean Senator What's scarier than ghosts and the paranormal? Real life people can be much more frightening and unpredictable. During a private school voucher question session, most people would expect to get some direct and level-headed answers from their government representative, right? Well, Senator Don Huffins of Texas wasn't interested in anyone's questions. Instead, his scary reaction was to yell combatively at students. 
the interaction of which was caught on tape. The question session came as new Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos is making changes to the way things are done, including with school vouchers, private schools, and charter schools. Prior to the visit, the students had been provided articles to read and jot down questions about private school vouchers in preparation for the senator. But when the senator arrived in Austin to talk with the 7th and 8th graders, things quickly got heated. As the PTA rally day began, the senator had a hard time answering the questions being flung at him, so he lashed out. This may be because critics are right in that the vouchers provided by the new program won't be enough assistance for students who want to go to those schools. Although the schools are receiving taxpayer dollars, they are priced super high and unaffordable for low-income students. So one student politely disagreed with the senator, saying that the amount these vouchers offered students wouldn't cover enough to attend a private school. The senator condescended to the student, berating her, patronizing her question, calling her selfish, asking if these selfish kids expected him to pay for all of it, etc. Basically, being a complete jerk to 7th and 8th grade students and missing the mark that taxpayer dollars should help lower income students as much as they do the middle and upper class. The question session soon devolved into a screaming match, with the senator shouting, What are all 